Hi, this is Steve with Otaku Henshin. Today we're going to be taking a look at the next figure in the Love Live training outfit version, Nendoroids. So here we have Sonoda Umi. We can see she's Nendoroid 546. It says Sonoda Umi training outfit version, and again in kanji below. You can see the Good Smile Company logo and also the Love Live logo as well. Let's just take a quick look at the box. And we can just open her up and take a look at what comes inside. Let's just take a quick look at the packaging inside. Let's take a look at everything that comes inside. So we have our stand here and you can see if you watch the video with Honoka, the stand is a little bit different just because the hair on the back of Umi is in the way of where the stand needs to go into place in her back. So they had to have a special type of stand where her hair goes over top of that, which you'll see later. We have an extra neck piece. We have this hand. We have this leg that is bent. Here's a different arm bent at the elbow. And another, this time with her pointing. We have an extra hand here with her fingers out like that. Her extra face. Just like Honoka, she comes with the holding hands that work with the previous release figures. Here is a little board. And finally, the figure herself. So you can see that just like Honoka, she has her movement in the head. And her these arms particularly, they're a little bit flat against her. So, I mean, these ones aren't really meant for having up. That's why she has other arms to swap in. And just her legs just move just like any other Nendoroid. As I was mentioning, you can see that peg hole in the back is behind her hair. As far as swapping the face, you just pop off the front hair, pop off the face, swap in the new face, and pop the hair back on. So why don't I go ahead and put her in a couple different poses for you guys so you can see what she can do. Starting off, we have a pose from the box of her doing the love heart shoot. And you can see how the stand attaches to her back behind the hair. Next, we swapped out the hands and the face for another pose from the box. And finally, we have her in a pose with the Muse training schedule behind her. As mentioned in the Honoka video, if you have the previous release of Umi here, you can actually swap in the faces from that other figure as well. I think with what comes with Umi here, it's a little bit more fun to play around with her than with Honoka, since she didn't have as much other than just that bread. As far as the second year girls go, Umi is definitely my favorite of the three. So this is definitely one of my favorite Nendoroids that I've reviewed so far. Umi is still available on our website, otakuhenshin.com, for sale, but she is in very limited quantity. On our websites, we always have an open pre-order period for when the figures are announced. So generally, we only order in a few extras. If you like this video, please make sure to subscribe to our channel. And also like our page on Facebook at facebook.com slash otakuhenshinonline. As mentioned, on our website, otakuhenshin.com, you can find various other figures for pre-order and also ones that we do have in stock from various anime, video games, and tokusatsu as well. Next up is the Kotori training outfit figure, so stay tuned for that and thanks for watching.